Hey everyone, welcome back to Sarah's Bean Kitchen. Today I have a taste test. I haven't done one of these in a long time. So I went online, picked out a bunch of vegan snacks that are trying to replicate non-vegan things. So we got some cheesy stuff, lots of cheesy stuff actually, some fake meat, some chocolatey things as well. Got everything off of Thrive Market. Favorite place to buy all my pantry staples. They also have a huge variety of vegan snacks. Super easy to filter by vegan. So I picked out a bunch of good stuff. Okay, so I mentioned in my 2017 favorites video that one of my favorite snacks is the Skinny Pop White Cheddar. Their white cheddar flavoring is vegan friendly. And it seems like a lot of companies are now offering non-dairy white cheddar snacks, which is pretty cool. So here's a variety <laughs> of snacks like that from Thrive Market. I'm gonna start with the Earth Balance. I've already had their regular like buttery popcorn. Mmm, it's really good. Super salty. Regular Earth Balance, like their butter and their buttery spreads, I can definitely tell that there's something like artificial going on. This tastes like real white cheddar. Very good. There's a little bit of garlic and onion powder in here too. So it has a really nice savory flavor. That gets a thumbs up from me. I want to move on to this brand. I haven't seen this before. Vegan Rob's. Um, this is Dairy Free Cheddar Puffs. Mmm. This is exactly like the Cheeto Cheese Puffs. Maybe a little less salty than those. But these are so good. Again, so I've eaten them. They're really good. If you're missing Cheese Puffs or Pirate's Booty, I used to love pirate's booty go buy this mm. next up hippies i've actually tried these before so i know that i like them but i just wanted to buy more um these are a little bit lower in fat higher in protein than the other two options i just showed so a bit healthier they do taste healthier though they're not as cheesy but if you're trying to snack a little bit more healthily i really recommend these they kind of remind me of the the snap pea crisps they have a lot of different flavors though. I prefer the sriracha one to the white cheddar actually, but I was trying to keep in theme, so I got the white cheddar one. Last up, Forager Cheesy Greens Organic Pressed Vegetable Chips. I have also not seen these in stores, but this is literally mostly pressed vegetables. There's cucumber, celery, kale, spinach, collard greens, a bunch of other stuff that I guess they just dehydrated and then pressed the fiber into chips. It's still pretty high in fat though, so I don't know if it's necessarily healthy. Forager makes one of my favorite types of vegan yogurt, so I have high hopes for these. Hmm, so interesting. I really don't know what to make of these. I feel like because I'm eating this after those other three, which are so, so good, I'm a little bit underwhelmed by these, but I feel like if I were eating them alone, I would really like them. There's definitely a lot of flavors going on. There's like seeds in here, plus all the vegetable pulp. So I would recommend trying this. Definitely tastes more like a hippie granola sort of product though. Next thing are these Go Raw Zesty Pizza Sprouted Flax Snacks. So these are, I guess, just mostly flaxseed, sprouted sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, and some spices. The pizza is what really interested me. So they're super small. How cute they are. Hmm, really good flavor. Tastes like marinara. Very high in protein, five grams per serving. Also pretty high in fat, but it's all from the seeds, so the whole plant foods. Hmm, these taste a lot better than I thought they would, given that they're raw. They are quite salty, but I think they're really good. I probably would not, maybe I'd buy these if I were going on like a hike and I wanted a nice healthy snack just to have with me to give me more energy. If you're looking for a nice healthy snack, high in protein, high in fiber, I would give these a go. Next up, I have a couple more flavors of the Louisville Vegan Jerky. I tried the barbecue flavor, I think, in the taste test I did with my sister a couple months back, I'll link it down below. But I have the Sriracha Maple and the Maple Bacon flavor. This brand, Louisville, makes my favorite vegan jerky that I've tried so far. I did also just try the I don't know what it's called, Smart Jerky by Light Life. I didn't care for that that much. So the Sriracha Maple one. This one has really good flavor. I love Sriracha, you know that. The texture of these is just so good. It blows my mind. Guarantee you, any non-vegan that you get to try this will enjoy it. This is only just mildly spicy. So don't be afraid of the Sriracha if you don't like spice. It has really good flavor. Okay. 
Let's try the maple bacon one. Very smoky. This actually has a super convincing bacon flavor. I feel like I really like that the texture of these is moist, but it's not like gooey. Like the primal strips almost have some sauce still left on them, but these are dry to the touch, but they're still moist somehow. Probably if I had to pick one, the sriracha maple, but both of them are worth trying. They're so good. Seven grams of protein per serving, 80 calories. I also really like that you can read all of the ingredients on the label. It's a very short ingredients list, which is super surprising because I feel like the flavor is so rich. I've been meaning to try and make my own homemade vegan jerky using the soy, like the butler's soy curls. So that might be in an upcoming video. We've got some sweet things as well. I know not everyone is as much of a salt fiend as I am. We've got the Cocoa Mel Bites, which I've seen a lot of other vegan YouTubers try out and everyone has liked them. So high hopes for these. And also the either chimes or chimes toasted coconut chewy toffee. One of my favorite candies was almond roca, which I know is not the same thing, but toffee. So good. These look different than I expected them to. Hmm. My leg is falling asleep. I don't know if I've repurchased these. They taste good. I will finish them, but I feel like there's something a little off about the flavor, which is weird because I really like coconut usually. I do like the fact that there's very few ingredients in this. It's mostly just coconut milk and sugar, a little bit of sea salt. Probably would not repurchase these. I think they have other flavors though. The cocoa melts. I've been waiting to try these. Mmm. These are much softer than the other ones. So this is also a coconut milk based caramel and it's coated in bittersweet chocolate so it's not too sweet. I love the texture. This is amazing. This doesn't taste vegan at all. Mm. This brand, JJ Sweets, is based in Boulder. I'm in Boulder. That's cool. You absolutely need to try these out if you're a chocolate person. Mm. Next thing I'm trying are these coconut butter caramel sea salt cups. I'm really excited about these. Hmm. I think maybe I don't like coconut butter. The texture is very kind of chalky. Something about the filling is throwing me off, but it's literally just coconut butter, according to the label, so maybe that's it. I cook with coconut butter all the time, but I never I just eat spoonfuls of it. I've seen um, Kate Fruit Flowers eat spoonfuls of coconut butter, but I don't have it in me. Hmm. It's not bad. I'll probably give the other one away, though. Okay, next I was going to try the rice milk crunch bars by enjoy life but scanning the ingredients and noticing that there's honey in it so i made a mistake mm. so we gonna give this away which is sad because i usually really like the enjoy life brand they have um, really good vegan chocolate chips chocolate chunks every time they go on sale i buy a ton of them they also make really amazing like soft chewy cookies that are free of a lot of allergens and are vegan so I'm sure this tastes amazing, but it contains honey, so we're gonna skip it. So I have two more things to try. They require preparation. I should have made them ahead of time. Vegan Jello and vegan vanilla pudding. Honestly, I never really was a huge fan of Jello, but I did want to try it out. Pudding, though, I really used to like pudding, especially rice pudding and tapioca pudding. So I'm gonna prepare these, and then we'll come back in a couple of hours when they're set and try them out. We are back with our jello and our pudding. <laughs> and also earlier I forgot to uh, try out these vegan cheddar squares. I hope these are good. My mom used to always pack uh, uh, Cheez-Its ch Cheez or cheese nips in my lunches in elementary school. So these make me very nostalgic. <laughs> the weirdest things make me nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Exactly like the real thing. Ooh, they're so buttery. Mmm. If they make a white cheddar version of these, I need to get my hands on them. I used to always dip these in peanut butter. Earth balance is two for two today. Good job. Let's try the pudding first. I just made this with soy milk, plain unsweetened soy milk. It smells really good. Mmm. 
It's actually a really low calorie as well. It's sweetened with erythritol and stevia. There's no actual sugar in here. The flavor of the soy milk is definitely coming through. Maybe I'd make it with vanilla soy milk or vanilla almond milk next time. But I'd say it's pretty solid. I was just thinking about making vegan Boston cream donuts at some point in the near future. I would use this as the filling. Mm, for being 24 calories per serving, this is actually pretty good. I'm sure their chocolate one is better. Let's have some jello. Five calories a serving, sweetened with erythritol and stevia, and it's colored with beets, and it's thickened with carrageenan instead of gelatin. It's a very beautiful, mesmerizing color. Tastes like real jello to me. The texture is not weird. I've made vegan jello using agar agar, and the texture is a little off with that. This is really good. I love raspberry flavored things. For someone who doesn't like jello that much, I do enjoy this. So if it's something that you're missing since going vegan, buy this. If I had to pick my favorite things from this taste test, probably number one, these cheddar puffs by Vegan Rob's, then, ooh, the cheddar squares, or the white cheddar popcorn. Then probably the sriracha maple jerky. Really good. If you haven't tried the Louisville brand jerky yet, get your hands on some ASAP. And then I got one sweet thing in my top picks. I'm such a savory snack person, but I was really impressed by the Cocoa Mill Bites as well. So there's nothing I tried today that I absolutely hated, which I consider a success, but you can try any of these items and there's a lot more to choose from on Thrive Market. I have a deal for you. They're offering $60 off your groceries and free shipping along with a 30 day free trial if you wanna try them out. I think I've been using Thrive Market for the past six-ish months and I've saved so much money on there. I love it, super convenient, comes straight to your door. And if you have any other dietary preferences, you can easily filter by those as well. If you're gluten-free or you prefer for to eat non-GMO, any of those things. So that is it for my vegan taste test. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you tried out any of these snacks, what you thought about them, or if there are any other vegan products or snacks you want me to try out and review on the channel. I would love to do that. I want to start doing more frequent taste tests, especially because I've been in Boulder for the past couple weeks and there's so many more vegan options here than where I was living before. I'm super pumped about how many new vegan products are hitting the shelves lately, so. Lots of good stuff to try out in the future, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.